Some insurance companies are using drones to keep tabs on your property. And tonight's Legal Lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary about the debate over whether that practice is good for consumers. Andrea, I think some people might be surprised when they hear this. I guess, how are insurance companies using drones these days? Well, a lot of different ways. We see them in, in civil car crash cases being used for surveillance. But I'd say the number one thing we're seeing as a trend is being used as a sophisticated tool for property assessment. So, for instance, in cases of roof damage, a insurance company may use a drone as opposed to a actual person assessor that gets up on the roof. Um, for the most part, I think it's working fairly well, but some homeowners are increasingly running into issues uh, with their insurance companies utilizing drones, including um, increasing insurance premiums, a refusal to renew policies, or even denial of coverage uh, for new applicants. And I think when some people hear it initially, they wonder, you know, is this is this legal? You know, an insurance company using a drone flying right over their house to take a look at it. Surprisingly, uh, even to me, it is legal. Both the Missouri Department of Insurance. Um, does not prohibit it, and there is no Missouri statute that prohibits um, either satellite or drone usage to look at property. Um, because insurance companies are private companies, the Fourth Amendment, which protects us against illegal search and seizure, does not apply to them. So it is legal. And you touched on it a little bit, but I guess what are some of the, the arguments sort of, you know, for and against using uh, drones in this way? Well, for uh, drones offer a lower cost for for assessments compared to actually getting uh, somebody boots on ground to go do it. Um, it also can give the opportunity for companies to get better data um, and allows for better risk monitoring. Um, drones can also be equipped with infrared cameras and, and other type of things that can detect uh, gas leaks. Um, water leaks, things such as that. Against the use of drones is obviously uh, these things are rarely being viewed in real time. So often the footage that is being reviewed in conjunction with a policy decision is old footage. Um, homeowners are obviously and rightfully concerned about uh, the other uh, part of using drone footage is what else is being captured? Is it invading their privacy? And then finally, um, you know, utili utilizing artificial intelligence in conjunction with the drone um, has resulted in some uh, mistakes. If you've ever used AI, you know that sometimes shadows can be interpreted as trees um, and misinterpreted other data that can result in uh, policy decisions that are adverse to homeowners. Certainly an interesting topic. I wasn't aware of this, and I'm sure a lot more to come in the future. Andrea McNary with Brown and Crouppen. As always, we appreciate your legal insight. Thank you. You're so welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. And you can catch The Legal Lens every Wednesday right here on Fox 2 News at 6.